So this video is about encrypted table spaces. Now, um, in this first section, what I want to do is find out what the decryption, the default encryption wallet is located, and then uh, um, actually set the wallet encryption key. So let's go ahead and get that started. directory and it's closed. Let's go ahead and use L of this. And uh, um, it's actually not created, so let's go ahead and do it. Make it under minus P of this directory. And now let's exit back. Now let's go ahead and set the encryption wallet key. So alter system. Set encryption key. You see that it says it's open. In fact, let's host out ls minus l of this directory, see what's in it. And lo and behold, we have a wallet. Now that we've opened our wallet, I want to go ahead and create encrypted table spaces. And uh, um, before I do, though, I want to go ahead and set the wallet to be auto login. And uh, I don't think this is necessary for the OCM exam, but just in case. So the, the syntax for this is Aura PKI wallet create. Oh, I have to find out what, oh, I know what the wallet is. Wallet create dash wallet. Here's the directory. Password, which is in this case password P A S W O R D, and now it's done. And let's look at what's in the, inside there now. And now look, we have two files. So now let's go ahead and create some um, encrypted table spaces. Let's create. and then we want encryption default storage encrypt now let's go ahead and create let's specify uh, a, a specific uh, type of encryption so let's go ahead and create
to default storage input. Okay, so we created those two encrypted table spaces. Now let's just determine which table spaces are in fact encrypted. Let's just take uh, some, some, do some queries here. How about that? So let's do select table space. see the only ones that are encrypted are the two that we just created and let's take a how, so how do you figure out which um, type of encryption well then you have to do this select So in this last section, what I want to do is import a table into um, an encrypted table space. Now on the OCM exam, what they did was they gave us uh, um, an old-fashioned, uh, not data pump, but an old-fashioned export, and that doesn't is not compatible with the in, uh, using encrypted table spaces. So what I'm going to do here is do an old-fashioned export, followed by an old-fashioned import, and then actually moving it. Um, to um, a uh, an encrypted table space. So, first of all, let's create a user. So I'm going to go create create user Saleo identified identified by Saleo temporary space temp default table space users. So we've cre um, created a user and granted it create table. Now I'm going to connect as that user. So let's go connect. Saleo, Saleo. And let's go ahead and create a table. Create table. We're going to call the create table. Uh, let's call it Saleo table. Saleo table. Insert some data to insert into Saleo table. Saleo table values one. Insert into Saleo table values two. Insert into Saleo table values three. And let's commit the data. So, uh, um, okay, so we've created a table in a particular table space. Let's do an old fashioned export. I don't remember the syntax, so let's do exp help is equal to yes. And we get this information. And uh, uh, so we can do an export, an old fashioned export. So we'll go exp tables is equal to saleo dot saleo table. is equal 
equal to export dot dump log is equal to export dot log. Okay, so slash s is EPA. Okay, so we've created a table, and uh, um, so let's take a look. So we have um, the table and the and the log file associated with it. Um, so what they wanted us to do on the OCM exam was uh, import this table into a an encrypted table space. Now that wasn't possible with the old-fashioned export. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, um, emulate this. I'm going to pretend that my uh, database that I have here, the OCM database that I have here, is my new. Um, database that I'm going to be importing into. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, um, SQL plus as this EA drop tables layer dot layer layer table perch. Okay, so now it doesn't have a table. So now this is like importing into my destination table now. So let's go ahead and do IMP help is equal to yes. And uh, um, let's go ahead and do our import. So uh, um, IMP file is equal to get export dot dump. Uh, blog is equal to input. Import dot blog from user equal to Saleo to is equal to Saleo and tables is equal to Saleo table. And slash s is DBA. And it's done. So now it's in the um, users table space. And that's fine. Um, but now we need to move that table. So let's go ahead and look at what the objects are in that um, as sys, sys, SQL plus layer, layer. So it only imported the table, so let's just go here. Uh, let's see if I can move it as the Saleo user. So we go alter table. Oh, you know what? We need to connect as sysdba and alter user saleo quota unlimited on let's, what were the encrypted table spaces that we created? One was called encrypted encryption default and encryption default. So now we'll go alter. Look at um, which where that table space is located. So now let's look at select um, table space name from DBA tables where owner is equal to Saleo and table name is equal to Saleo table. And now it's an encryption default. And let's go ahead and 